guys, most of my jokes, Montreal based. When my dad passed away, it's a lot of years now, we're talking now 23 years ago. Mosconas banquet, uh, Mosconas funeral home on uh, Park Avenue. You remember it? It's, been, yeah, it's yeah. called Mosconas. Okay. Yeah, Joseph. Yeah. Now, my dad, had my, my aunts are in from Toronto. We're there. You know, uh, we're sad. My dad, now my dad suffered for, he had Alzheimer's and then he got sick and, you know, eventually had to, he passed away. Now, we're at the funeral home. And, you know, Greeks, after the funeral home, they have metaxa with uh, kefalo gaviera cheese and all the stuff, right? Yeah. I see three or four women in the corner, you know, he is with the black. So my Thea, my dad's older sister, Eleni from Toronto says, uh, I go, I don't know. So my dad came to Montreal in 1949. Yeah. But right after the war. He was, you know, see me, he may know people that we didn't know. Right. Yeah. And my mom asked, so I said, well, let me, let me go find out. Right. Maybe they're relatives, you know, sometimes you, you know, a wedding or a funeral, you, so I go over and I go, hi, uh, yes, us, you know, and they go, hi, our sympathies for your father. I go, thank you. I go, uh, I said, did you, how, did you know my father? You know, they, and they said, no. <laughs> oh, I said, uh, and they're, they're having cognacs and TD and shit. And so my brother, Mike, comes over. It's fucking hilarious. And he goes, so you don't know our dad? No, we don't know your dad, but it's just sad what's going on. And then the guy in the funeral home came out, and he says, they're funeral groupies. Oh <laughs> they go God. to funerals. Like, how fucking only Greeks go to fucking funerals oh, to, socialize. Man, to socialize? I swear to God. I was gonna... And then my Thea goes... Inignosti, they look familiar. Go, yeah, they're, they're cousins. They said they're cousins from Corinthos. Oh, no, I remember them. She didn't know shit. <laughs> I said that because I don't want to embarrass them. Yeah. But my brother, I'll never forget, ask my brother Mike, he was laughing. He goes, dude, they're funeral groupies. Yeah, they go to mourn. I, yeah, they go to every funeral. The guy told me in, uh, at the funeral, he goes, yeah, every time there's a funeral, they just show up. Because, oh, you know, wow. if you go to a funeral, nobody's going to tell you, don't come to the funeral. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Especially Greeks, we're not gonna, you know. Uh, oh yeah, you know. It, it was so weird that I thought I, I, I think Italians may do it or other groups, but I just thought now it's funny. I've been trying to make that a bit. It's too fucked up. People think I'm really imagining this. It actually happened, but when you talk about it, the Greeks don't like. I can make fun of my mother, our mothers, but I'll never call her bitch or anything. That they shut down. You know what right. I'm saying? You can call your dad a malaka. It's okay. For some reason, if you call your dad a malaka, that's okay. Not mother. I can, I'll make fun of my mom, but up on stuff. But if I was to say something bad, like, you know, bad about our, our mothers, shut down. Yeah, no, no. Don't laugh yeah. at it. And I, and I think it's the same with funerals. I think it's funny because, yeah, we were at a funeral, but is it? would you go to a funeral to hang out? No, no, no. <laughs> when, you, when you go to a funeral, you can't wait to leave. <laughs> but I've heard of that yeah, before. Get out of there. <laughs> and then have, my brother goes with the bottle, putting seven star. I met your brother. He's fucking hilarious. <laughs> hey, shit. I go, because, well, we have an extra bottle, you know, and a TD. And then my and my sister's hilarious, too. She goes, who are they? We don't know. What, they just showed up? Oh, well, they we showed up for the buffet. They got this out of here? <laughs> the mini buffet. That see, guys, that's the strange <clears throat> shit that makes me laugh. So most things are relatable. Some things are just kind of maybe too strange for people, even though most people got, I do this one joke where I say, we all have a strange uncle from Greece that we didn't know existed because Papu had a side dish. We found out there was a guy from, <laughs> we're from Sparty. There's some guy showing up from fucking Tripoli. The other guy, because Papu <laughs> was banging some chick in Tripoli, and I found out my dad had a stepbrother, and then this guy just shows up. And he's, oh, you know, at every, you ever at the Greek weddings, that guy with the weird mixed match suit? Uh, <laughs> oh, <God. the> <laughs> Am I right? Especially Montreal, you go to these weddings, and there's that guy with the mixed match <laughs> suit. Guy, I need see, think I need to go, I need to see. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy? <laughs> then you find out, yeah. And they don't talk about it. Greeks. No, it's taboo. It's taboo. No, no, yeah, you don't know. Cover it. 
So I asked my one thea, the one with the big mouth, I go, yeah, Papu Sitane, you know, there was a, there was a, Papu had another woman, and this was another a man who's my brother, too. I have another brother, but we never really talked about it. <laughs> okay, so we never <laughs> talked about it. Then the guy just shows up at uh, at the Royale in Montreal there, calling you a Nipsey. You go, what's going on? <laughs> but I think most... Most Greek families that exists, but you're right; they don't talk about it. So hard to talk about. 